I got some fire for you guys today. <laughs> and for you guys that like to click off the video in the first minute, don't do that because I got a big announcement. <laughs> Let's get in, Mike. YouTube, what is good? It's your guy, man. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Y'all know what we talk about on this channel, man. If you've been rocking with me for a while, you know we cover fragrance on this channel. We cover fashion. We get into some lifestyle stuff as well. So if any of that stuff is interesting to you, if any of that sounds like something you will be interested in hearing more about, please consider subscribing to the channel and also make sure that you hit the bell icon as well to get notified when I upload new content on the channel. All right, so, so are you tired of smelling average? Are you tired of smelling average? Because if that's you, it's definitely me. All right, I'm tired of smelling average, tired of the same old, same old stuff. So if that's you, you're gonna enjoy this video because I have five fragrances on this list today that'll have you smelling better than average. Because we don't do average over here, man. We're trying to be the best versions of ourselves each and every day. And we're in the fragrances, so we need some stuff that's gonna help us to kind of stand out from the crowd. Get away from the status quo, man. Stop wearing flanker after flanker and get into some really good, unique juice. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And I have five fragrances in my collection that I want to mention to you guys that once again, if you're trying to look for something that is a little bit of a uh, break from the norm, I'll say it that way, then you're probably going to enjoy some of the selections on this list. So you know how we get down, man. If you wanna see what's on my list, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right Fragrance guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list of fragrances. And the first one that I have up uh, on today, I won't say that nobody knows about this fragrance, but definitely nobody really talks about this fragrance. And it's on the list because I really enjoy tobacco fragrances. And this fragrance to me is a very, very unique take on the note of tobacco. This note, uh, this fragrance, I'm sorry, comes from the house of Ormond Jane, and this is called Mont Tobacco. Mont Tobacco, man, and this stuff is absolutely stunning. Ah, uh, man, this thing has tobacco leaf in here, so it's not probably uh, anything like the tobacco you're accustomed to smelling in a lot of other fragrances, although it smells very photorealistic. It features tobacco leaf. Uh, when it opens up, you get this little spicy kick from cardamom. In the heart, two primary notes to this nose is tea and hedion. You guys know I talked a lot about that hedion note in my last video, but you have a little bit of a hedion, kind of like, of course, floral jasmine vibe uh, in the heart of this fragrance. And when it dries down, you get a little bit of ambergris. Uh, you get some iso -E super, sandalwood tonka bean, and to give that very masculine kind of quality to this fragrance, a little bit of earthiness as well, you have some oak moss when it dries down. Once again, amazing fragrance, very different take on a note of tobacco from anything else that I have in my collection. And that's why it is on a list like this. So if you are a tobacco lover and you're looking for something that's kind of unique, then check this one out from the house of Ormond Jane. This is called Mont Tobacco. All right, guys, and before we move any further, let me go ahead and get this off my chest, man, because I've been holding it back <laughs> for a little while now, man. I have a special announcement, guys. Any of you who have been following my channel for any amount of time know that back in uh, back on last August, I released two fragrances with the House of Novices Parfums, uh, that being Lyric, which was originally called Obai, and Serenade. And guys, I am back that is right i am back man i am happy to announce that i am going to be doing three more fragrances all right 
I'm doing three fragrances this time, man, and I am excited, excited, excited about these fragrances. Now, one of the things uh, that I'm very excited about is the price point on these fragrances are going to be even more accessible uh, than they were the last time, and I'm going to give you a very good variety of scents this time. I can't wait to really get into the breakdown of these fragrances, but I am extremely excited. Uh, one of the things that I'm most excited about, um, outside of the fact that this is fragrances and I am in love with this, I guess you would say hobby or this, this passion uh, for fragrances, but I had a chance to work with <sighs> probably my favorite, if definitely, if not my favorite, definitely my top two or three uh, perfumers uh, of all time. I am such a fan uh, of the work of this perfumer, but I'm gonna be giving you guys a skinny little lowdown, uh, of course, in the weeks to come, you know, on uh, more details about this, but guys, I appreciate your support. Anybody that bought the first two fragrances, um, anybody that enjoyed those fragrances, I appreciate you guys' support. And I am sure that you guys are going to be very, very satisfied with what your boy has cooked up this time around. So keep your ears and your eyes open because I'm gonna be giving updates here periodically, like I said, over the next couple of weeks and give you more details on this project. And um, again, guys, so just be on the lookout, man. Uh, you know, it's time again, we about to rock the house, man. We got uh, three amazing fragrances that I wanna be bringing you guys away. So. Just wanted to make sure I go ahead and put that out there so you guys are aware, but more details to come in the coming weeks. All right, guys, so the next fragrance up on this list, I am beyond in love with this fragrance. I don't know if something about it is like some voodoo or something in there. It might be some Hedion in here. <laughs> yeah, but, but seriously, man, I absolutely adore this fragrance. Everything about it, man, it's just, it's my kind of fragrance and it's sexy. And it is something that'll help you stand out and be unique. This is from the house of Tom Ford, and this is called Tobacco Oud. Tobacco Oud, and I talked about this fragrance here uh, over the past few months. I, I can't get enough of this stuff, man. I cannot describe what it is about it that I love so much. It's just one of those things. It just does it for me. And again, it's a very unique fragrance. Uh, you get some uh, booziness in the opening of this with the, with the whiskey. Of course, you got tobacco. Of course, you have oud, as the name indicates. But man, this stuff is so good, man. I think there's some tonka bean or vanilla in this as it dries down as well. Some cardamom, so you get that spiciness in here. This stuff is amazing. It, it, guys, listen. If you can get your nose on it, I know it's a little bit harder to find this one now, but if you can get your nose on it, please do yourself a favor and get your nose on this stuff because it is absolutely phenomenal. It's something that I think every guy should at least get his nose on at some point in time. So guys, if you can, check this one out. It's from the house of Tom Ford. And again, this one is called Tobacco Oud. All right, guys, now the next fragrance up on this list is definitely a fragrance that's unique. Hands down, this is unique. And hands down, this is a fragrance that not a lot of people talk about. Trust me, I think I'm the only one that's ever talked about this fragrance uh, on YouTube that I've seen. But this house, um, this fragrance is from my house called Unique A Luxury. And I actually just mentioned this fragrance on my top 15 um, niche fragrances for the summer. So if you missed that list, I'll make sure I link that up here. But this fragrance again comes from the house of Unique A Luxury and this one is called Ak Denise. It's called Ak Denise. And this is a extremely unique fragrance. It has this very kind of seaside aquatic opening on the fragrance, but it's so much more than that. Uh, is it kind of gives you a typical fragrance opening when you think about the typical aquatic fragrance that's accompanied by some, some fresh pineapple, uh, some apple in here as well. But when it starts to dry down a little bit, man, that's when the uniqueness of this fragrance really starts to shine through. You have some myrtle, you have some thyme in here as well. So again, notes that you don't see too often in perfumery. Uh, in this fragrance, and then again, a fragrance that you think about that uh, is kind of has this oceanic aquatic vibe to it, but then it dries down and you start to get things like leather in here. But the great thing about this fragrance is that it doesn't, the leather 
and some of the heavier, more woodier notes like patchouli and stuff like that that's in here, never pushes it out of that safe to wear in the summer kind of category. And that's what I love about it. You have to get your nose on it to see what I am saying when I tell you this is a very, very unique fragrance and it's really good. So if you can guys, check this one out from the House of Unique A Luxury. This one is called Ak Denise. All right guys, now the next fragrance up on this list, I, listen, I can't really tell you guys, I, there's nothing I can say to articulate how good this fragrance is. Seriously, it's not. So I'm just gonna show you the bottle. I just talked about this fragrance. I'm gonna talk about this fragrance on every video that I do. <laughs> but seriously, man, you guys need to get your nose on this because this is a phenomenal fragrance. From the House of the Harmonist, this one is called Hypnotizing. Hypnotizing fire, and it is that fire. Oh my gosh. I don't understand why somebody would make a fragrance like this. I don't understand, I just don't understand it. I don't understand why a fragrance house would make a fragrance that is this freaking phenomenal, because this one is that. Um, I don't wanna really go through notes because I'm gonna do a full review on this fragrance because it deserves a full review. Uh, but like I said, when I talked about this fragrance in my last video, imagine by the fire being like five times better. I ain't gonna say, I'm not gonna say 10 times better because that's a really good fragrance. But just imagine a more refined, a more elegant, a more wearable version of that fragrance and that's what you get. Hypnotizing is the perfect word to describe this fragrance because like I said yesterday, like my guy Kevin Samuel said, this fragrance should come with birth control. Check it out from the house of the Harmonist. This is called Hypnotizing Fire. All right guys, and last but not least uh, on this list, uh, I've talked about a fragrance from this house on my summer list, but this one is different. One that is very, very sensual and one that you gotta get your nose on if you're looking for something unique. From the house of Rosendo Mateo, this is number six. This one is number six. And man, this thing is good, man. It has notes on here, jasmine, sandalwood, and musk. Oh, man. Fellas, just get your nose on this stuff. I, get your nose on this stuff, guys. Get, get yourself a sample of the fragrances on this list. Again, these are some very unique fragrances um, that I really want you guys to experience. Again, if you're looking for something unique, you're tired of kind of the norm, I've given you five fragrances tonight that can kind of get you out of that whole rut and have you smelling like a million bucks. So check them out, guys, when you have the time. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. You guys don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Don't forget to be on the lookout, guys, for more details in the upcoming weeks on my new uh, fragrances that will be released here uh, in the near future. I can't wait to share in that experience with you guys and tell you more details about it. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos because you guys don't have to watch, but you do, man. And I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy. I'm your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.